Hello dancer friends and welcome back to my studio. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys my collection of sharks, whales, dolphins, basically sea animals collection. I've placed them all on the floor. You can see we have a huge pile of this animal figurines and really cool models. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so let's begin. First figure of the day is actually a brand new goblin shark figure that was added to our collection like literally just a couple of days back. Right over here, we also have a really cool great white shark or this could be like a Megalodon, I think it should be a Megalodon because it's really huge, it's a really beautiful one. Okay, so let's move on and take a look at the others. Um, this is also very new, another goblin shark figure. No, this is actually, yes, this is correct. This is also a goblin shark, so you can see it has like movable flippers and this can be pressed as well. Really beautiful, love this a lot. Yep, I think this is from the Shark Week playset. Which is really really awesome. Um, here we have a tiger shark that was you know added to our collection like a couple of weeks back. Yep, and this is our really really cool megalodon figure from PNS. So one of our most realistic figures out there. Okay, and this one it's a pretty new great white shark. So you can see they have like sculpted the face to look a little bit like a goblin shark. So this one looks really nice as well. All right. Let's move on. We have a huge and gigantic humpback whale. Okay, this is a really beautiful one. I think it comes with a um, fat card right over here. Let me just read if we are able to remember this. So they are basically known for their haunting songs. So I'm just going to remove the tag since I already know that fact. And here we have a beautiful beluga whale. Okay. This one is our biggest one, okay? This is, I think you guys should have seen this before. So this is actually from a set known as WoW Quest. So it's a pretty cool one. You can actually put in some mini fish and get it out from this little cover right here. So that's really, really awesome. Here we have a um, black tip reef shark, okay? This is a pretty old figure. A basking shark right over here. Let's see, what else we've got? All right, this is a beautiful gray whale. All right, a beautiful gray whale. Let's see, what else we've got? A great white shark. This is one of the very weird looking figure, I must say. It's like really creased and crumpled, but still a pretty nice one. And here it's a um, bottlenose dolphin. Yep, a dolphin. And this is a pilot whale, which has been in our collection for many, for a long time. Another really beautiful grey whale figure, okay, this is actually from um, Safari LTD as well, really a huge one, pretty heavy as well. Um, an Alcar, relatively new figure in our collection. Let's see, what else we've got? This is the um, Bowhead whale, which is relatively big as well. Let's see, what else we've got inside? Okay, this one is an Alcar, this is also added to our collection like you know, a couple of weeks back. Pretty new figure, and um, one of our very old great white shark figures. You can see the color the colors are already like you know, uh, it's like decolorized. And this is a thresher shark. You can easily recognize it by you know its really long tail. Hammerhead shark figure, pretty cool. You can actually move the head. We got this from a set. Um, yeah. And this one is also from Wild Quest. I think we have two of them. And um, this is a whale shark figure. It looks pretty good. This is one of our very old great white shark figures. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's a brand to this. This is a pygmy sperm whale, relatively new figure. Orcar, one of our newest, one of our latest Orcar figures. Let's have a look at them. the Vex. So no record of exists of attacks on human being. I think they meant like you know war or cars. Um, this is a fruit shark. It's actually from a shark week playset. This it's a um, sperm whale. Yeah, it's, it looks kind of weird. It has this blue stripe across the mouth. So it looks pretty weird. So it has a movable tail. Pretty cool. We got this like very recently this was actually sent to us by one of our um, dan safarians so really nice figure i love this a lot um bottlenose dolphin okay nice one this is the um sand tiger shark that we have got from an online store yeah it's a pretty nice one now we got this like 
last year, I think. Best King Shark from a um, budget set, not the best looking one. And this is a huge one from from Papo. It's a pretty cool one. It has a movable jaw. Okay, really, really big one. And let's see what else we've got. Um, let's move on. Another great white shark which has been um, in our collection for like the longest time. A pretty old figure of an car. Okay, you can see it has this really sharp and long fin, which is accurate. And um, this is the right whale. Alright, nice one. It's a pretty huge one, I must say. Hammerhead shark. And um, yeah, it's a pretty old figure, 1991. A great white shark from the Shark Week playset. Not the best looking figure, it's like hollow, hollow plastic. Another nail wheel, we have like two of three nail wheel figures in our collection. A 1997 figure right here. This, it's a Atlantic white to the dolphin. You know, it has a smudge of ink right here, which is you know, too bad. A dolphin, probably a bottlenose dolphin, but it doesn't say it. Okay. Uh, a pretty old figure of a Megalodon from Safari LTD. Yep, it's 2013, so nine years back. A great white. Um, yeah, this has been around with ours for like you know quite some time. A tiger shark from a playset that we've got from a uh, Toys R Us, I think. This is the bonnet head shark. Okay, you can see the hammer head is actually much shorter than the, the hammer head. I mean, I mean, and this is a grey wheel, possibly a grey wheel. This is a blue wheel, okay. This is the shock ray from Schleich, I think. It doesn't have the name written right below, so it could be like a guitar fish. This is a small little orca from you know Coloretta, which is a Japanese brand. A small little dolphin. Probably a bottlenose dolphin. Yes, it is a bottlenose, bottlenose dolphin. This is a Mako shark figure. We have two Mako sharks. One is a shark fin Mako shark. I'm not too sure, you know, where is it? We can do a comparison later on. Another great white from the Shark Week playset. And this is actually one of the figures that you know that we've got previously from a online store. And it comes with you know all these figures that has like movable parts. So it's pretty cool. It also has a scientific name written right below and it says like Kakaro Don Kakarius. So this is basically the you know like the scientific name of this shark. Goblin shark right over here. Yeah, goblin shark is actually one of the weirdest looking sharks that you can find. I mean if you do a Google search or you do a YouTube search, you can find that you know they, they are really hideous looking. Yep. This is a saw sawfish. And um, we have a sperm whale right over here. Let's read the facts. Sperm whales can dive deeper than 3,000 feet and they can hold their breath for like not up to 90 minutes. So that fact, I think it has been engraved in my mind. So you can actually remove the tag. A tiger shark right over here. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. This is a mini um, humpback whale, I think. Let's see whether the facts are the same or different. Humpbacks were once hunted extensively and they remain endangered. So yeah, I think we can remove the tag. You remember the fact this is a say will oh i regretted removing the say will i mean this is a mink will i regret regretted um you know removing it because i can't remember um you know the facts about mink will i mean if you guys have any facts about the mink will let me know down below this is an oceanic white tip reef shark okay cool one this is a mega mouth shark one of the weirdest looking sharks that you can find and they're very very rare they can only be found like really deep in the um, ocean waters. A basking shark figure, yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. So basking sharks are basically like filter feeders. They will just take all the water and filter out all the food particles. This is a hammerhead shark baby. I mean, it doesn't look like a baby, but it is a baby. It's a weird one. This one, um, it doesn't have a name, so it's probably, I'm gonna say it's a bull shark. Probably a bull shark. A small little sawfish from the National Geographic set. Baquita purpoise, um, they are critically endangered. I think they're like less than like 10 left in the world or something like that. Yeah, so it's critically endangered. So this is a blue shark, pretty nice figure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the shark in real 
you know, it's really blue in color. We have a small little beluga wheel. Okay. And um, this is a shop. This is a Miku shop. This is the Orcar from the um, same playset as the all the other, you know, animals with, you know, movable parts. So this is a pretty cool one. This is a um, Blaine Views Victim Wheel. Yep, that's right. And this is a white wheel. It's actually not known as the Beluga wheel. I'm not too sure because I was told that this was known as the white wheel. So it's probably different from the Beluga wheel, I guess. This is a shock ray. Okay, a nice one. Ichthyosaurus, not too sure why um, it's doing inside this collection. It's not supposed to be here. And uh, we have a wheel shock. Alright. Let's see, this is a small little dolphin, and it is actually a bottlenose dolphin, but the colors doesn't really look like one. This is the same wheel, okay? Small little wheel right here, and um, I think this should be a blue wheel. That's right, a blue wheel. A small little um, Genghis River dolphin. This is a beluga calf, so yeah, I think maybe when it's young, the colors are actually different from, you know, when it's, you know, older. For a mega rom shark, we have two of them, I think. This is probably a ghost fish, I'm not too sure, you know, I have no idea, guys. This is a zebra shark. And this is a... Right, bow head wheel. Yeah, bow head wheel. Nice one. It's a really big one. From a warbler gang. A wheel shark. This has been around with me for like many, many years. Yeah, you know, I think we got it, you know, way before Dan Safari was created. And uh, this is a bull shark. One of the more aggressive looking sharks. So this is a short fit Mako shock and this is a Mako shock so we can do a comparison, okay? Let's see, what is this? Oh yes, we just got this like, you know, recently, a great white shock. So it was given to us by one of our, um, you know, dinosaurs, dinosaurians. I've no idea what shock this is. It doesn't look like a tiger shock. Yeah, I can't. Oh, this is like a pointer shot. I can't remember, guys. So if you guys know, do help me out down below. So we have two of them. It doesn't have the name written right here as well. So it's kind of um, sad. I'm just gonna open this up and see whether um, there are any names. No, there isn't any name to this. Mm -hmm. Um, This, it's a leopard shock. That's right. And we have another hammerhead shock. I think this is one of our new ones. Right. And um, this is a pilot wheel. A lemon shock. This is a scallop hammerhead shock. And this is a robber gang. And this one, it's a zebra shock. That's right. It's been around for like quite some time. I think this is a ghost shock if I'm not wrong. Ghost shock. And this is known as the uh, grey wave shock. That's right. This one, I have no idea. It looks a little bit like a fruit shock, but not really. So I can't really tell you what this is. It has this two little fangs right over here and it could be like a nurse shock. This is the Nairwil, this really small one. This is the uh, white tip reef shock. It's different from the oceanic white tip reef shock. This is probably like a moon shock. And uh, this is a nurse shock. You can just clearly see it as like, you know, two structures right over here, which is like protruding. I don't think they are teeth. I don't really know. And this is a bamboo shock. Yep, bamboo shock. There's like patterns that looks like resembles like you know the bamboo patterns. Small little beluga. Okay. This is the Pacific white sided dolphin, I think. Pacific white sided dolphin, yes. Pacific white sided dolphin. Okay, let's move on. A 
couple of video shots right over here, two hammerheads, and this is probably a big um, white. It's left with all of this. No idea what this is. You have no idea what this is. It's a piece of hair. A strand of hair. Possibly a shock ray. Um, most likely a great white. Could be a blue shark and this is just a bottom nose dolphin i think all right so this is basically our sharks collection i've put them into the box right over here you know some of them are right over here i'm gonna keep them back into the drawers thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one okay thanks and goodbye